guys, it's Woody. I'm back out on the road. Um, made it home on time for my sister's wedding. And it was epic. It was awesome. She had a, uh, a Game of Thrones theme. And uh, had some, you know, some competitions, some sword fighting, and um, it was just really cool. Everybody dressed up, you know, dressed the part. I got to walk around with a big old sword. It was sweet. And um, had a good turnout. So that was really cool. And then the um, the day before that, the day I actually got in, we did um, my birthday celebration, and um, I got I got contacts. So as you see, I'm not wearing my regular glasses. So I'm wearing contacts. I'm gonna put these back on because it is I'm westbound and going right into the sunset. So. Um, I got, I got contacts, I got some new boots, which I was in desperate need of. I got um, a fridge, and it's quite a bit bigger than I expected it to be. Um, but I'm gonna make it work. It's literally like a fridge that you have at your house, but just, just shorter and a little bit, you know, thinner. But it's literally a mini refrigerator. It's got a freezer and everything in it. So, really cool. Now I just need to work on getting that filled up. Um, got got some stuff for my wife as well. I got like um, a silverware, silverware set, um, folding up. It's like for camping and stuff, but very useful. Um, better than all the plastic where I keep buying and all that stuff and then I get down to like my last fork and I just clean it off really good and I keep using it so at least this is actual um, silverware um, so I, I got that Let's see if I'm missing anything um, I also got you know a pretty decent knife for my wife and a really cool multifunctional keychain and I'm actually more excited for the little flashlight that's on it. Because <laughs> it's got, you know, screwdrivers, a um, little knife, I think a pair of scissors, and a really bright uh, LED flashlight, which will be really nice. Um, so, yeah, it turned out to be a really nice weekend. Um, and now I'm trying to... I have to go to one of the terminals, switch my trailers out, and get to the shipper and get loaded. <clears throat> but I'm supposed to be there at 8 o'clock tonight, and I really, really, yeah, I'm not going to make it. Um, that's how it's looking now, is I'm going to get there at 8.30 but I still have to take a 30 minute break and I'm gonna do that when I go to get my trailer. But after that, I still have to drive another two and a half hours. So I'll probably be there somewhere around nine o'clock instead of eight. And, you know, that's, that's partly my fault. I got started, I started my day with giving me that hour buffer to get there, but I needed fuel, and the first place I went, all the fuel pumps were shut down. So I had to go about half a mile or half an hour the other direction to get fuel, and then when I got there, the pump that I pulled into didn't work, and they had me move to a different pump. So I had to go all the way around the truck stop again. Finally got fuel and then had to drive back to where I, I am going. But I had to deal with traffic and, and all that. So yeah. So sometimes an hour buffer just isn't enough. But yeah, 
yeah. Um, and then hopefully we'll see what what I can get off. Um, I opted for Christmas off. Um, we'll see if they give it to me or not. And if they don't, it's not a huge deal because, I mean, that'll put me, what is that, five weeks out, four weeks? I usually like to be out for three weeks, home three days. So we'll see if they give it to me. Like I said, if they don't, I'll just do the three weeks out and come home um, earlier. So, yeah, the van broke down over there. So anyway, it was a good weekend. And then of course, so the first two days I was home, I was, you know, the, the first day I was setting up for my sister's wedding. I got to see a family friend. He's more of a, he's more family than friend. I got to see my uncle Hardy. It's a guy that my dad was in the military with many years ago and uh, that guy was just it was a good thing he was there <laughs> you know he just showed up took charge he's like all right put this over here and this over here and he just it was really cool he's got a good sense of humor and everything so it was cool to see him again I haven't seen him I remember it was let's see well I saw him when I graduated basic training and I think that's might have been the last time I saw him. He might have come out. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think that was the last time I saw him was when I graduated basic training. So anyway, got to see him set up everything. And then the second day was my sister's wedding day. And we again went out there early and I started getting set up. And my wife like well you want to go get changed or whatever I was like well I don't want to get changed too early because you know cause I don't want to be walking around in the in all that garb with the sword and everything and setting up and her wedding started at two and I'm, I look at my watch and it was already one o'clock I was like holy crap so went got changed and it just turned out really cool and then yesterday was just the day for me and my wife we Went and had a date night, went to Red Lobster, did a movie. So, we got our night as well. Um, and now I'm back out here. So, we'll see what happens. And uh, they're giving me technically four days, but they're giving me five days to get to, to my destination. I shouldn't have any problems with that. But it's going to that place that I really don't like. Where I have to, uh, the first time I had to wait 23 hours, and the second time I had to wait like 18 hours. And, but the third time I went, I was just in and out. It was like an hour, hour and a half. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, race for the sky. Thank a trucker.